Hello, Lever Fanatics. Good to be back. Today, I want to talk a little bit about something that I've been doing recently, and that is something called resetting your taste buds. Now, I have some really good coffee here from Cafe Luso, and this is great coffee. I could drink this every day. But what I found is sometimes if I drink really high-end good stuff all the time, I sort of lose my appreciation for it, which is why every so often I like to reset my taste buds with something else. And this is what I use. Lavazza Espresso, Grand Crema. Now this could be a Starbucks blend or a Pete's blend. Um, you could use pretty much anything that you can find locally that is not really considered a uh, freshly roasted coffee. Now you might think it's strange. Why would I want to waste my time on something that is, uh, has no real date on it, no roast date, is pretty common. In fact, I bought this from Amazon. Um, so you can get it shipped to you. Uh, why would you want to have a coffee like this? Well, I think it's important because it tends to reset your taste buds. It tends to remind you what, I'm not going to say bad coffee because I actually don't think this uh, Lavazza or even uh, using a Starbucks or a Pete's in here is bad coffee by any means. It's just different. It doesn't maybe have the complexity uh, or the softness of some of the really fresh roasted premium stuff. But at the same time, this is still really good coffee. So I think sometimes it's good to give your taste buds a rest maybe from the super high-end coffees and, and get back to some of the basics. And so today, I'm gonna make some Lavazza coffee, some Lavazza espresso. So just like uh, with all of my process, I start with uh, 14 grams of coffee. And then I'm gonna put it into the niche one of the things I found with grinding coffee that is a little bit um, older or does, is, has uh, not, not really freshly roasted is that I often have to grind finer. And I think that's because um, it, it takes a little, it's, the coffee has sort of dried out. And so it needs a little bit more um, surface area to really extract all of those flavors. So I'm grinding 14, um, grams of the Lavazza. Make sure we get it all out. There we go. I still do the exact same process. Good distribution, always important. Just because it's inexpensive coffee doesn't mean it doesn't deserve to be treated like a premium blend. We're gonna tamp it out. always try to put a lot of pressure on. I've given up trying to do exactly um, 30 pounds of pressure. and Just put a lot of pressure, lock it in. I'll use a clear cup today. Let's get a little closer so you can see the pool, see the extraction. Okay, and as always, I'm gonna tighten this while I do the first pool. And uh, 10 seconds of pre-infusion. You can see the pre-infusion is coming out pretty fast. So that always seems to happen with um, older coffees, uh, non-freshly roasted coffees. You have to remember this Lavazza came from Italy, airmail, or maybe by boat. Okay, and then releasing the lever. So here we go, getting the first extraction out. And before it reaches the top, I'm gonna pull the lever down one more time get a second and look at that it's pretty good get a nice amount of crema all right starting to turn very blonde so i'm going to switch it out let's take a look readjust there we go I think that's pretty good now the flavor on this is going to be dark it's going to be strong it's not going to have the subtlety of uh of some of the um premium sort of um smaller um roasting uh, blends, but I think it's great. Ah, delicious. What I like about doing this is it reminds me of why I got into coffee. I remember the first time you had a, I'll say it, the first time you had a Starbucks and you thought, wow, I didn't know uh, coffee from a, a, a company could taste so, so good, um, especially um, given that at the time we were drinking coffee from 
Dunkin' Donuts or maybe even worse, gas stations. Uh, and it really did elevate what we thought a good cup of coffee, good shot of espresso should be. And so I think it's good for, for all of us every so often. I'm not saying drink this every day, but maybe go for a few days just re-establishing uh, your love for that, that, that brand that you used to maybe start with, whether it was a Starbucks or a Lavazza or an Illy or, or something that is uh, readily available. And it's great. And then the best thing is when you go back to your premium coffee, it's going to taste so much better. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this short video. Uh, remember, if you have any questions or uh, comments, please leave it below. Please like and subscribe this video. And always remember, the best espresso is the one that you pull.